reminds me, you know, a lot of myself. You know, um, he's a strong guy. He runs fast, physical, great feet. Um, he has great vision, nice balance. Um, and this is determination that he runs with. Um, you don't see a lot of running backs that, that run that way. It's definitely one of the legends, one of the best. So this will be my first time, you know, just playing against the Vikings. So I'll definitely be on, on the sideline looking and watching. I'm playing against a good physical Vikings defense, and he's going to be playing against a, a good Rams defense. So, you know, there'll definitely be a tough challenge for both of us. It's going to be a battle of two of the best running backs in the league, rookie Todd Gurley and the Rams versus Adrian Peterson and the Vikings. Now, according to Elias, Gurley and Peterson are the only players in NFL history with four 100-yard rushing games in their first five career games. Skip, could Gurley be better than Adrian Peterson? Stephen A., you'll accuse me of overreacting, being very premature here, but I'm going to take the plunge. I think he can be. Will he be? I, I don't know if he'll stay healthy. That's going to be the issue because he's coming off an ACL last year at Georgia. I love this kid when he was at Georgia. I told you I thought the Rams flat out stole him in the draft. I know we have devalued the position of running back in drafts, but not this kid. He is so big, so agile, so fast. He accelerates so quickly that I, I believe he's a touch faster with the football under his arm than Adrian has ever been. A touch. Just a touch. Yes. This is splitting hairs here. Mm -hmm. I think he's a touch more elusive, just, just shiftier than Adrian. I don't know if his heart is as big as Adrian's because we all know that Adrian Peterson will just flat out the run lion. over who, who's ever in his way. He's just going to attack them. And as a lion, he's going to maul them, whether it's a linebacker or a strong safety or whoever, a defensive tackle. He's going to try to run through them. And I don't know that about Todd Gurley, but, but, but maybe that would be a good thing for Todd Gurley. But when I look at these numbers, and I've watched a good bit of these games, he has such easy free flow to him when he gets the ball in his hands. He has such vision, knack, feel. It's just effortless, whoosh, and he's gone. And I'm looking at 146 in the first full game, and then 159 and 128 and 133. And I'm going to throw this out there because I threw it out last year. A lot of our younger viewers only know O.J. Simpson because of a terrible thing yep. that happened, right? And so we... we a very we terrible thing that very, happened. Very, very terrible thing yes. that happened. And they know him as a guy who's in prison. Mm -hmm. But listen, once upon a time, when O.J. Simpson was at the University of Southern California... And when USC. He was a Buffalo Bill, listen, it, it was a beautiful thing to watch. I'm talking about as a football yep. player, as a running back. There, there's never been a prettier sight. And this kid's starting to remind me of, of the... They call him the juice... You know, the, the flow and go that O.J. had, mm -hmm. th this is, it's, it's a different style than Adrian's. And I think if he can endure, and that's always the big question, yeah. mm -hmm. Adrian's had his share of injuries too, but I, I think he can be a little more effective than Adrian can be. Here's what I would tell you. <clears throat> First of all, I had one lone reservation about Gurley. I watched him at Georgia last year. I thought he was sensational. Um, I had questions about his durability because I thought he ran too high. If you remember, I sat right on this you set said it. and I said, yep. he does not need to come back to Georgia when some bogus mm -hmm. nonsense had him missing a few games for them and stuff with their sanctimonious self-righteous selves. And yep. he ended up missing a few games. Another right. autograph scandal. Yeah, another you know, autograph scandal, right, right. right. And I said, he shouldn't come back. Yep. They ain't winning the national title. You he owes it. the university nothing. Don't go out there and jeopardize your draft status by coming back. He came back anyway and got hurt the next damn week. Okay? And so, and, and, but, but no, luckily for St. Louis, he was there to be picked up by them. I thought he, run too high. he runs too high. And because of that in the NFL, because of the nasty knee injuries mm -hmm. I've seen, yep. I was worried about him. That's it. His skill level is big time. It's he big is time. no joke. He is averaging 115 yards a game. Do you know that Adrian Peterson only did that once in his career? And that was in 2012 when he rushed for 2,097 yards. Adrian Peterson averaged 131 yards rushing that season. This, that's the only time in his career he's averaged above 110. Okay? This dude right now, Gurley, is at 115. All right? This dude, Gurley, is averaging 6.1 yards a carry. Adrian Peterson only did that once in his career. Mm. At six yards a carry, the same year he had the, 20, the 2,097 yards. 
What you're seeing from Gurley right now is some special, special stuff. Mm -hmm. And I can't deny that. It's going to be real interesting to see if it continues because, again, piggybacking off we were alluding to about the Cowboys last year. Well, Tony Romo was great. This is Nick Foles we talk yeah, about. It, you're right. So you got Nick Foles in St. Louis, and they're going to look at Gurley and be like, wait a minute. I mean, I know Tavon Austin's a bad boy, but Nick Foles got to throw him the ball, and you Kenny Britt, you got to throw him the ball. I mean, I, I mean, we might we might want to take that risk and stack the line of scrimmage against this brother right here True. because he's so special. So it's going to be real interesting what he what, what he does moving forward because we've seen how great mm -hmm. Gurley has the potential to be. Now, when you talk about St. Louis, you got to talk about somebody that's worth fearing here because this is the 30th rank i mean they're the 30th rank passing attack because of nick Foles, mm -hmm. but they got one of the top you know top five rushing attacks mm -hmm. because of Gurley. yeah now in minnesota's case minnesota is going to have to deal with that adrian peterson obviously is going up against st louis and they're in that front center with donald and brockers and quinn and those mm -hmm. boys so they will be ready they're four and three st louis is coming so it's going to be real interesting to see what happens this week but speaking Overall, does Gurley have the potential to be better than Adrian Peterson? I'm not going to go that far because of durability. But as it pertains to ability, mm -hmm. I definitely believe this is a valid conversation because I think Gurley's abilities are that great. His potential is that great. But when you're, go when you're going to compare somebody to Adrian Peterson, we have to show deference and respect to Adrian sure. Peterson I, in I'm, this respect. I agree with that. I don't care if Todd Gurley rushes for 2,000 yep. yards this mm -hmm. season. What you going to do next season? Yep. Yep. The season after that. Oh, that's and the season after I, that. I agree. Because that is what Adrian Peterson has done. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I and do by the love, way, he's doing it now. He's doing it he's now. He's doing it now. He's doing it now. What I do love about this kid's situation, as opposed to a Johnny Manziel's, is Jeff Fisher really, really wanted Todd Gurley. So he's mm -hmm. going to do everything in his power and remember, Jeff Fisher wants to run it, and he wants to play defense. So I, I hope he doesn't run him in the ground. Yeah. But, but again, I think he'll do everything in his power to prop him up and protect him as well as he can. And I told you before the year started, I'm picking the Rams to win a wild card because of you Todd did. Gurley. You did but, say but he, that. It took him a few games to make sure the knee was right. And then before once, he came. Yes. The second he's come in, oh, he's been doing cool. it ever since he's yeah. arrived. And I will tell you this, too. Let's pay attention to this game. Minnesota Vikings are five and two. They're good. Mm -hmm. And even though Teddy Bridgewater is not knocking your socks off, nope. yep. he's still doing some things. Mm -hmm. He's got five interceptions in seven games. I mean, Ted, Teddy Bridgewater is doing all right. Adrian Peterson's averaging four and a half yards he a is. carry. And this defense really good. for Minnesota is really, really yep. good. Zimmer's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's going to be really – I mean, this is an interesting game – not just for Gurley, but for St. Louis, because let's see what they're made of in this particular yep. situation. Hey, if Gurley gets 150 this time, I'm going to be like, wow. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Gurley said he'll be watching AP on the sidelines. He's excited as well. He called him the godfather. I like he that. Should, you know what? His respect. The, well. Adrian Peterson deserves it on that level. Yep. Any yep. running back should be looking up to Adrian Peterson. Exactly. AFC wildcard race heats up in Pittsburgh's Raiders-Steelers.